Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org with still another new product news flash. This time it's a world exclusive first look at a new product from Cypher Labs. It's called the Cypher Labs Theorem 720 DAC. Several years ago, high-end digital audio component manufacturer Wadia came out with the iTransport. And I think a lot of head fires probably remember the iTransport because, if I recall correctly, it was the very first device that allowed you to take digital from your iDevice, your iPod, iPhone, iPad. And that allows you to bypass the internal DAC of the iDevice and run the digital stream to a higher-end DAC of your choosing. Now, a couple years later, Cypher Labs showed that they were truly innovators in the high-end portable audio market when they came out with the Algorithm Solo. The Algorithm Solo did everything the iTransport did, allowed you to take digital from your iDevice, but it didn't need to be plugged into a wall because it had its own internal battery, and it had its own internal DAC stage so that you could just take this improved iDevice rig with you anywhere. So, in creating the Algorithm Solo, they really innovated, again, in the portable audio market and uh, this was an immensely popular product in the community. So the Wadia iTransport allowed you to take digital from your iDevice. The next step was the Cypher Labs Algorithm Solo, which added a rechargeable battery and its own DAC stage into the one chassis. But if you wanted to build a solo rig, by the way, it was still a three box rig because you had to have the iDevice, the solo, and an amp because the Algorithm Solo didn't have its own amp stage built in. And that was still the next step. And companies like Fostex with the HPP-1, Vimoda with the Vamp and Vamp Verza, Sony with the PHA-1, and most recently Centrance with the hi -Fi Mate, they did just that. They took an iDevice DAC, added amp stages to them, and made it an even more all-in-one device. Well now, Cypher Labs has released, again, the Theorem 720 DAC, oh, this one here, the Theorem 720 DAC, and that's what we're going to talk about now. The Cypher Labs Theorem 720 DAC, like the Vmoto Vamp Verza, like the Centrance Hi-Fi Mate, is actually a USB DAC, Android DAC, and iDevice DAC, so it's very versatile in that regard. The USB DAC implementation is 24-bit, 192 kilohertz capable, built around the AKM4396 DAC chip, and the USB implementation is async. The Theorem 720 DAC's headphone amplifier is, like the Centrance Hi-Fi Mates, fully balanced. Now it's not quite as powerful as the very powerful Centrance Hi-Fi Mate headphone amp, but there's a reason for that that we'll get to in a minute. But it's still very powerful and more powerful than any of the other headphone amp DACs you see in the pile there. The output, the balanced output, is via the RSA or the Kobicon connector, and it also has a single-ended output via a mini jack. Also very nice is the fact that it has a dedicated line out, so if for any reason you want to use it as a source component in another system, uh, a dedicated line out's there, and that's very handy to have. The amp also has three gain settings, high, medium, and low. Low for your high sensitivity headphones, uh, medium for your medium sensitivity headphones, of course, and high for your harder to drive headphones. Now in terms of its sound quality, I've used the Theorem 720 DAC as both a USB DAC and an iDevice DAC, but I haven't yet used it as an Android DAC. Now so far in my use of it, uh, I love the way it sounds. It sounds excellent. It is, along with the Centrance Hi-Fi Mate, in my opinion, the state of the art in terms of the portable uh, iDevice USB DAC amp combos. Um, it's that good. Now, whereas the Centrance Hi-Fi Mate strikes me as eminently neutral, um, it's a little bit drier sounding than the Theorem 720 DAC. Still a neutral DAC. You want your DAC, in my opinion, to be neutral, but there's a little bit more fullness uh, to uh, the Theorem 720 DAC sound. Uh, they're still very, very comparable, though, and I could happily live with either. Uh, they're both very revealing, again, both neutral, but there's just a touch of fullness that you get with uh, the Theorem 720 DAC that I'm not really hearing with the slightly drier uh, Centrance Hi-Fi Mate. Now that said, again, as we mentioned in the video about the Hi-Fi Mate, it does have tone controls, so I'm talking about the Hi-Fi Mate in its neutral mode without altering any of the tone controls. So again, I could live with either of these products as a reference portable, no problem. And it's not just portable use that I'd recommend either the Hi-Fi Mate or the Theorem 724. They both sound exceptionally good and enough so that I would recommend in a pinch using, for example, the Theorem 720 in a desktop rig as the source component in, a, in a, even a high-end desktop rig. Now I want to take a moment to go back to the Theorem 720 DAX amp section uh, where it brings up one of only a couple criticisms I have of the Theorem 720 DAC. So right away, uh, Cypher Labs told me that this is really more designed 
uh, for over ear headphones than they than it is for um, uh, sensitive in ears. But that said, in low gain mode, I do wish it was quieter so that I could use it with my most sensitive in ears. If you use even a mildly sensitive in ear with it, you're likely to hear hiss, the noise floor. With some of my less sensitive in ears, it wasn't a problem. But I would have liked more flexibility in low gain mode to use my more sensitive in ears with it. Now earlier I touched on uh, the output power of the Theorem 720 DAC. I mentioned that it's not quite as powerful uh, as the Sentrance Hi Fi Mate, even though it's, as, it's more powerful than all the other ones. It's not quite as powerful as the Sentrance Hi Fi Mate, but there's a reason for that. Cypher Labs wanted it to be powerful, but they wanted to maximize battery life as one of the primary design goals, and they've certainly done that. So of all the portable eye device uh, DAC amp combos I've used before, battery life was somewhere on the order of five to seven hours, seven maybe on the high side uh, per charge. With the Theorem 720 DAC, if you plug a fully charged eye device into it, you're looking at about 18 plus hours of battery life. Yes, enough to get me from here to Tokyo, and that's a big deal. And then if I'm traveling within the country, I could probably go to most places within the US and come back home using it all along and not have to charge it while I'm gone, leaving the adapter at home. So this is, to me, um, very similar to the to the Sentrance Hi Fi Mate. Gives up some versatility, of course. Gives up some of that um, uh, output power, uh, but trades it for a ton of battery life. And that, to me, is a really big deal. Now, if you use it with an eye device, which is why I said if you plug a fully charged eye device into it, when you use it with an eye device, which, it, by the way, automatically detects what, what you're plugging into it. So if you plug an eye device into it, it knows which firmware to, to choose within the uh, 720, uh, the Theorem 720 DAC, it will then pass power to that iDevice. It will charge it when you turn it on. If you plug a non-i device into it, it recognizes that and will not pass power to it. So, if you need a charge in a pinch, plug your iPhone, your iPod, your iPad into the Theorem 720 DAC, turn it on, and it will charge it. So that's another big Road Warrior feature that is, to me, a big deal. I actually carry uh, separate uh, portable battery chargers with me almost everywhere I go. So to be able to have one contained within something that I'd want to carry while I'm traveling for sound is nice, just as an emergency charger. I think that's fantastic. Now, if, again, if you plug a non-i device into it, it won't pass power to it. So if you use it as a USB DAC or an Android DAC, you can expect even more battery life out of, uh, out of the Theorem 720 DAC. You can expect it to get 24 plus hours if you're not using it with an iDevice. Again, that is a big deal. That's a lot of battery life for a portable iDevice DAC amp combo. It's, I think it's the standard setter. I can't think of anything else that comes close. Now the question I'm likely to be asked a million times if I don't attempt to answer it now is when would I recommend purchasing a Cypher Labs Theorem 720 DAC and when would I recommend purchasing a Sentrance Hi-Fi Mate? Because if you're shopping uh, for this class of product, these are your two leaders right now in my opinion. And to me, we've sort of answered that question already uh, by talking about the battery life, the charging capability um, of the Cypher Labs uh, Theorem 720 DAC. Um, it, it is more the Road Warrior's choice. But let's start right now, though, with the Sentrance Hi-Fi Mate in answering that question. I would recommend the Sentrance Hi-Fi Mate if you're looking for the closest thing that I've used anyway so far to a desktop reference rig in a box. It has a lot of versatility um, with the tone controls, um, uh, with the output power of that amp, the fact that it's fully balanced and single-ended, to me, this is really the closest thing to a reference desktop rig in a box. But you give up a lot of battery life versus the Theorem 720 DAC. However, at six, six and a half hours, it's not a slouch. If that's good enough for you, it's hard not to recommend the Sentrance Hi-Fi Mate. Um, the Theorem 720 DAC by Cypher Labs is it's, it's just, what do you recommend more if battery life is of paramount importance to you? I can't think of anything that gets battery life like that. 18 hours with a fully charged eye device uh, and 24 plus hours if you're using something else. Um, that's just a tremendous amount of battery life. And it also has phenomenal sound. I would have to give the edge to the Sentrance Hi-Fi Mate and sound, but still I find this very competitive with it. And with that battery life, there's just no other uh, combination quite like this either for its use cases, its ideal use cases. So to me, the recommendation becomes pretty straightforward. Again, if you don't mind the slightly larger size uh, and you want just the ultimate performance and you can live with the battery life, the Sentrance Hi-Fi Mate, if 
you need that battery life. If you're a road warrior type, travel a lot, international travel, uh, no brainer. Theorem 720 DAC by Cypher Labs. Now, of course, another key consideration in picking something is going to be price. And in that, we're, we're arriving at one of the other of the couple criticisms I have of the Cypher Labs Theorem 720 DAC. It's price. At $899, it's expensive. It's, to the best of my knowledge anyway, the most expensive product in its class at $899. But again, thinking of the use cases that it excels in, there's really nothing that competes with it in terms of battery life and the charger functionality. And the performance, again, is spectacular, comparable to the Sentrance Hi-Fi Mate, even if I give a slight edge to that in terms of sonic performance. But altogether, you do pay a high price to get the things that it excels at. For the price, you also get what I feel is one of the best packaged portable audio devices I've seen so far. Again, it's clearly indicated for portable use, um, and they build it and package it to, to just excel in that regard. I should mention that, again, you might not need to carry that charger because of all the battery life, but if you do, the charger for it's very small. And consistent with the thoughtfulness of the packaging for the Theorem 720 DAC, the cable on it's red because road warriors are constantly traveling with adapters up the wazoo, and all of them have black cables, but Cypher Labs wanted you to be able to pick theirs out in a crowded bag, and the red cable, again, very thoughtful, very small. This is a much smaller charger than, uh, for example, the Centrance High Fi Mates charger. So again, definitely uh, packaged for, for portability and for the road warrior. It also has other thoughtful touches, like this leather pad intended to put between your eye device and or whatever you're going to put on top of the Theorem 720 DAC and it provides padding, impact protection and a little bit of friction and grip so that it doesn't do this. <laughs> so I actually pulled this from between there which is why it's sliding. Put this between the two devices and it grips really nicely. Again, a nice very thoughtful touch to include this leather pad um, uh, and also connectivity. Uh, Cypher Labs in the way they package the Theorem 720 DAC makes it just ready to go for just about anybody. So if you're using an Android device with it, it comes with a really cool Android cable. It's a short micro to mini USB cable because it has a mini USB input uh, on, on the Theorem 720 DAC. So it comes with the cable that you'd need to use with an Android device. If you're using an iPhone 5 or anything else with a lightning connector, I know this is a big deal because trying to find a good short lightning connector is a pain, but the fact that this is terminated in MINI, they included one with the package. So you have a lightning to MINI connector that's short and ideal for a portable setup that uses a, a lightning enabled device. And then of course the 30 pin dock cable. It comes with two different lengths of that. If you use an iPod like I'm using here, an iPod Classic or anything else that uses a 30 pin dock connector, it comes with two different lengths for greater flexibility in rig setup. And so again, it, it, it contains everything that you'd need you don't need to contact any custom cable makers just to make the thing work right from the get-go. It's ready to go. So for the price, you also get one of the most thoughtfully packaged portable audio devices I've ever seen. So do I recommend the Theorem 720 DAC? Yes, if, in consideration of all the things that I've already said about it, um, if it meets your needs, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's really nothing else like it if the things that it provides are exactly what you're looking for. There's really no competitor for it in that regard. Again, battery life, uh, charger uh, functionality, and just the versatility in that portable role. So that's the Cypher Labs Theorem 720 DAC. Clearly, the high-end portable audio device market is heating up big time lately, and this is one of the things stoking that fire. Thanks for watching. You saw it here first. That's the Cypher Labs Theorem 720 DAC. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.